Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. Let's talk about the drawing tools that you find here in the toolbox. There are a number of them, and they all do different things. But I want to give you an overview of each one of them to show you these powerful tools. I'll start with the banner tool, which is just basically a tool where you can draw a box and create a banner, as you might imagine. If you double click on it, you can change the settings for the banner, and there are a number of settings. Of course, a banner can be any size that you want, but there are some pre-built sizes here you could check and choose. A uh, banner can contain text or not. By default, it picks up the name of the page, so if you uncheck this box, you can have it say whatever you want it to say and use that text. And of course, you can adjust the style of just about everything, from the font to the color of the font, its size and its style. Uh, just about everything you can imagine. And under the Style tab, in fact, you'll be able to change the background color. And now this is a gradient. We can make it a solid color, image pattern, etc. The uh, colors are basically limitless. If there's going to be a border, how big it is and what kind of border, just like most things that have a Style tab in 90 Second Website Builder. Also effects, which usually means shadows and reflections. All this can be set here. Uh, one of the things you can do with a banner is you can have text animation if you want. And I'll show you how that works here in a second. And of course the banner can be a link. And so if it is, you'll link it to a page or to another website, wherever you want. And in fact, you can trigger an event. Um, and that event could be an animation if you want it to be. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So if you're going to make a banner and add some of these attributes, like a different color and a different font, and maybe add an event animation, you would do all of that in this window. But I made one here for you. Let me uh, click out of here. I'm going to delete this and bring up one that I made. And if you double click on it, you can see that I chose an orange background with a bold uh, 20 point size font. I also added um, an event. And again, I won't go into the details of how to create an event here. That's another video. But basically for this banner, I creating an event that when it gets clicked on, it triggers an animation for this banner. And this is the animation that it triggers. Uh, called a transform wobble. Again, I'll go into detail on these in another video, but I just want to show you things you can do. So if we were to preview this banner, you can see it has all the attributes and there's my little animation. The point is there's a lot you can do. In fact, sometimes more than meets the eye when you grab one of these tools, if you really dig in and set some of the attributes, that's just the banner. Let's move on. There's also a clip art tool in the toolbox that allows you to add shapes and figures. You just draw a box and then pick from a library of clip art, of which there are just tons and tons. And this library goes on and on horizontally too, by the way. So if you were to uh, pick a, a symbol, let's say you wanted to use a copyright symbol, and click OK, then the, the object gets put wherever you want it, double click on it, and again, change all of the attributes that you can imagine, whether it's solid, image, gradient, etc., what color it is, um, whether it's going to have a border, etc. You can even en enable hover mode, which means when the mouse hovers over it, you can have it change color. So if that's what you do, when you go to preview it, you'll see that you can hover over your clip art and have it do different things. There are a number of clip art objects built into 90 Second Website Builder. You can even add more clip art to that library if you want to. Clip art can be a link. Uh, you can add effects to it, again, shadows and other effects, and use animation with clip art. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of this, delete this, move on to the next one because we have a lot to cover. And this one's called the Curve Tool, and basically it just allows you to draw. You know, if you're good with your mouse or if you have the kind of input device that's like a tablet and a pen, you can draw shapes and create your own drawings or shapes. And again, the attributes, again, click on it, and you can change how that's filled, colors, etc. The Curve Tool is similar to the Curve Close Tool, which allows you to do drawing only it fills it in and then of course you can double click on that and change the attributes to the color of how it fills how opaque it is etc then there's the curve text which is kind of interesting this allows you to draw any kind of a line or curve or whatever and then add text to it when you double click on it and you add your text to this object it's kind of an interesting effect actually it allows you to wrap text around something because you could draw this around say an image or whatever you wanted, and the text conforms to your drawing. And again, you're not stuck with just this default text. Not only can it say what you want it to say, but you can double click on it and again, change all the color style border attributes. Again, this can be a hover. There can be other effects like shadows and offsets and effects, et cetera, et cetera. So all of these drawing tools pretty much give you an unlimited level of creativity if you really want to dive in and see all of the things that you can do 
with these tools. Okay, I'm going to move on. I know we're going quick, but we have a lot to cover. The line tool is just as you would imagine. It's a way to make a straight line in any direction that you want. One of the good things about the line tool is you can make it any size you want, any color you want. You can make it be solid or dashed and dotted. You can have it have arrows or circles or squares at the end if you want. So if I want an arrow at the end, I can make that arrow bigger and click OK. And you can see I've made a line that's actually an arrow and you can change this, move it around. Again, it's all drag and drop, of course. If you wanted to change the color, you would double click on it and bring that up. Again, all of the other attributes, even this object can be a link and can trigger an event, etc. We're gonna go to the uh, polygon tool, which is similar to what we've looked at before, only it allows you to create um, closed shapes. Double click on that and you can create polygons. Double click on it to get to the attributes very similar to what we had on the other. And Scribble is a, it's a little bit like Curve, only it's a little bit more precise and allows you to draw shapes or lines in, in a more precise and more accurate way. And again, double clicking on that will bring up its attributes. And then there's the Shape tool. Now this is probably the most common of the drawing tools, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, the rest of these, as you can see, we kind of went through them pretty quickly. I'll spend a little more time on the Shape tool because it is more common it, and it's got a very practical use. When you draw a shape, onto the canvas with this tool, you basically are creating something that you can use a number of different ways on your website. A container for content or maybe a background behind text or image or something that you can make transparent or opaque. If you double click on this, you'll see there's actually a number of built-in shapes, quite a library of shapes. Now, of course, they just show here as gray, but all of that, of course, is changeable. A shape can be any size, shape, color, border, opacity. And I use these shapes in uh, sort of a 50% opacity, sort of transparent, sometimes to create an effect. I'll show you here in a second. Hover mode is also available for shapes. Also, the shape can have text inside. So if you were to click here and put in some text, you could make this shape contain its own text, which is an interesting effect. In other words, you could make a button out of this shape by having a shape with text and then make it link to something. Now you've created a button that can actually even have an effect or even have some kind of event or animation. And I'll show you an example of that here in just a second. But let me talk to you a little bit about the kinds of shapes that this tool can make. First of all, there is a publish button here that you may not pay attention to unless you know to. When you create a shape, you have the option of publishing the shape as an image. In other words, 90 Second Website Builder will turn it into a GIF or a JPEG or a PNG, whatever it needs to be, unless you choose publish as CSS3. Now, what's the advantage of that? Whenever you can, you want to choose this because when code can be replaced for an actual image, it makes your page load faster. So if you can publish something as CSS3, in other words, as code, it is better for page load. It's just that not everything will work as CSS3. So when you're working with the shape tool, be mindful of this one thing. When you choose a shape from here, the only shapes that can be published as CSS3 are the top three, either a circle or this rounded uh, rectangle or the square itself. If you are using these, I recommend publishing them as CSS3. Everything else, all of the more complex shapes, if you were to use, say for example, this shape or a triangle or whatever, you'll need to publish this as an image because there's no CSS3 code that can actually create a triangle or an even more complex shape. Some of these shapes are incredibly complex. If you get down here, there's actually talk bubbles that you can use as a shape. And of course, those would have to be turned into an image. So just be mindful of that. The top three um, shapes though can be CSS so that they load faster. And again, these can be any color, um, we can do a hover trick here if we uh, enable this and change this to, I don't know, to hover to red. When we hover over it, here's what that looks like. I'm going to click F5. And what that means is when we hover over the shape, it will pick up that, that effect. So let me show you a page where I've actually used shapes on the 90 Second Website Builder page. In fact, I'm going to go here and you'll see... Uh, one such shape. This is an excellent example of how to use a shape in a very practical way. So this is a get started now button. It's actually a shape. And what I did was I'm going to double click on it and show you the attributes. I made a green square, actually a rectangle, as you can see, stretched it out. It's solid. Here's the color. I have no border. I don't need a border. And I actually don't need it to hover, although you'll see there is an effect that creates a hover. I do have some text here. 
get started now as you can see a very simple aerial text that I want people to see so when they click on this they get started using 90 second website builder it's in fact a link that takes people to the trial page so they can use the 30 day free trial but what I've done here is I've actually created a special animation and again I won't go into the details of how to create an animation just know that you can create an animation and you'll want to watch those videos for that but I've created an animation that when the user hovers over this object there's a background color change. If we were to click edit, you could see how I actually created that. But again, we'll go into that later. This is just a great example of how to use a shape to make a button that has an animation effect. Let me show you how it looks. If we preview this, I'm clicking F5 to bring up the preview. What happens is when the user hovers over this, I have this sort of fade to a different background. But at the same time, it's also a link. So as you can see, if they were to click on this, it would actually go to the trial page. So anyway, that's just an example of a great way to use the uh, shape drawing tool in a practical way. Another way I've used it on my pages here, these are shapes. In fact, these circles are semi-transparent shapes. What's behind them is an image. So if you were to actually double click on the shape, you'd see that the opacity is 50%. And I did that so people can see the image behind that shape because I wanted that effect. I also use shapes sometimes for my testimonials right here. And because I'm using squares or rectangles, I can actually publish these as CSS3 so that they load on the page faster. In fact, on my testimonials page, I use a number of these shapes. People send us a lot of nice emails and notes nearly every day. And so we like to record them here, but this page gets huge. And of course, if these are actually images, this page would really load slowly. So I'm using the shape tool and I'm publishing as CSS3 so that the page will load faster. Okay, so enough about that. I wanted to make sure you understood how the shape tool among the drawing tools is really, really a practical and great tool. And then there's one more we'll go into here. Here, let me uh, delete this shape and bring up the text art. Another kind of a fun tool. If you ever want to have some text on your page, that's just a little more snazzy and you won't, you don't want to be limited to just web safe fonts. You can always use this text art tool. Just drag it out here. And of course it defaults to 90 second website builder, but you can have it say whatever you want. You just change the text here. There's even some warp styles that are pre-built. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, warp a certain way, you can choose that. Change the font to any font you want. It doesn't have to be web safe because this is going to be saved as an image. So if you want some crazy font, then you can pick one. Let's find one that we have here, our computer font. And if you want it to have a background, etc., this can also hover. So if you were to choose a different color here, then you would do that here. Also, this can be a link. Again, all the other things are true here about effects, events, and navigation. So what happens here when we click F5 is our text art with the hover lights up like that. So the drawing tools, while there's a lot to work with here, they give you just an almost limitless level of creativity for your website. A lot of what you can achieve by the time you learn how to use events and animation and, and the power of CSS3, as you really dig in and learn how to use this, there's things you can do with this software you really can't do with any other web design software. So if you're using a conventional HTML editor or CSS editor, you find this is actually pretty much impossible unless you had a team of people People building this stuff but with these tools and just a little bit of practice and investigation you'll see that you can make some amazing effects with the drawing tools on your website with 90 second website builder